Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called The Pirate's Flag. The Pirate's Flag is for two to six players. It takes about a half an hour to play in this for ages, I don't know, 11 and up. In the game, you're going to be playing as a pirate, uh, guiding a ship across the Dread Sea. Your objective is going to be to gather a flag and then return it back to the end of the board. All while at the same time of everybody else attempting to do the same. Now, there's going to be some pirate battles, some card drawing abilities, and Discord and draw cards as well as depending on whether or not you're going to go down waterfalls and whatnot the flag might drop if you can get the tr flag retrieve it and then bring it back you're going to win the game let's go ahead and take a look so here we have the contents for the pirates flag and as you can see there are six different boats here that you can choose from and they're all the same that they all have the ability to carry a flag over here is going to be where the flag is placed and this is the board normally players will start off on a tile over here but we don't have that because the prototype but just assume there's a little tile here you start off of before you go onto the board each of these areas is spaces this this here is going to minus you certain things like movement, and these little things here are going to increase your card so card cards uh, by plus one for every time you go across them, as well as whenever you land on these spaces here, you're going to be able to discard to draw two cards. You start with no cards, and you choose one of these captains. All of them have a once per game ability, as well as you're going to be rolling dice on your turn to move. So to begin, we'll go ahead and take three of these guys away and do a three-player game, just like this, pretty simple. And then you're going to go ahead and select a player to go first. Maybe you'll be the person person who was last on a ship or even if you want to get more specific a pirate ship this player will get to go and he's going to go ahead and roll his dice he's got a seven and we'll say he's blue so one two three four he can choose if he wants to go across here five six seven he passes this so he's going to get to draw a card on your turn you can play a card if you'd like or you can simply choose not to and you can also play cards in response to other players the next player gets to go is going to be orange and they'll go ahead and roll the dice they got eleven one two three four five six they get a card, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Look at that all the way across. The next player is gonna to get to go as well. There is nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's gonna give him a card. And these cards do different things. This one over here says that all other players move two spaces away from the Dread Sea, and you can play another card after this one, so that is gonna give you the ability to play two cards on your turn. This one here says draw three cards, choose to keep one, and put the rest on the bottom of the deck, and you may only play, an, uh, you, you may, may play another card on this turn as well. Oh, that's really good. And this one over here says, on your next roll, add four if you roll a one through three, or subtract two if you roll a four through six. So that can be beneficial or it can be dampering. So we'll go ahead and have this player go next, and he's going to simply roll the dice again. And he got a five, so one, two, three, four, five, because I'm trying to get this, this little pirate flag over here. And then the next player is going to go, but he's going to first use this card. It'll allow him to draw three new cards, and then he can choose to play another one if he wants. Uh, on your turn, take uh, the flag from a player within one space of you or move two spaces so he'll go ahead and use this to move two more spaces oops I'm gonna drop this guy one two that gives him a plus one to move across this space here and allows him to draw yet again another card pretty nice right and he can also go ahead and roll eight one two three four five six draws one more card a max hand size of five he picks up the pirate flag and he can then go back now he's trying to get out of here while the other pirate ships are trying to get to him now the next player is going to get their turn they can go ahead and use if they want and as he continues with the game people are going to keep moving and as you move across the board you're going to ensue pirate battles for instance if you are um this player here and you move onto the space while he's here you can choose to attack him and you're each going to roll a die and whoever gets the highest is then going to get to keep the flag additionally if you're attacking and you fail you're going to end your turn but if you attack and you succeed you'll get to choose to roll again and this pirate flag will move to the player who won and he'll get to go ahead and move away now you can only go across these arrows in this direction and if you do ever go across this area with a pirate flag the flag will stay at the top of the area so you can't simply go back and keep the flag and as you know it'll be like a tug of war as people continue to go back stealing the flag from other players and trying to get to the end of the board the first person to reach the end of the board with a pirate flag is going to be the winner of the pirate's flag so a couple caveats. The first one is if you ever land on a negative, you're going to move backwards. And if you ever land on a positive, you're going to move forward, depending on your direction. As well as when you get the pirate flag, you're only going to be rolling one die as opposed to two die. So it'll be a little slower going back. It'll give everybody a chance to get to that flag and try and steal it from you. There is a ton of different cards in this game with a ton of different artwork. Some of them are going to allow you to take additional spaces. Others are going to let you steal the flag without having to battle. And then some are going to say ignore the effect of a card played. So such as like a counter card. This is not in the ropes. Choose a player to subtract one 
one from their next roll. Choose a player, subtract two from their next roll. Move one space toward the flag and choose a player to subtract three from their next roll. So on and so forth. And it continues like that. And the game is basically one of those things where you can choose to roll as well as play cards or simply just roll. So you normally think basically a roll and move, but it's not really because you're actually going to be playing cards along on your turn. But that's the basic idea of the game. Let me tell you what I think about it. So this is yet, an yet another card game for kids by Card Lords. And what's really cool about it is obviously the artwork. They always do some great stuff. And I like their little additional characters like Captain Cat and whatnot. It comes back from those games like uh, Battle Goats and uh, Steal the Gold. And those kind of games kind of be put into this. But when you choose a character, what's interesting too is they are going to be found in the artwork as well. You'll find characters from the game uh, as you're playing them as well as in the artwork, which I think is really nice. Now, as a roll to move game, it wouldn't be very much fun. But adding the extra cards gives it a little more depth. And with a player that is younger, it's going to be a nice little addition to getting into the depths of, of the more strategic style gaming. Now, not to say that this doesn't have a lot of strategy. It does, because you're going to be moving around the board and choosing specifically when you want to place certain cards, because you're going to need to get on the player space that has the flag and get out, all while at the same time avoiding players from doing the same to you. And obviously, there is a simplistic aspect to it, going to the board and leaving the board. But that's great for family. It's great for kids, and it's great for like you know, a wide variety of people. If you're one of those people who likes really in-depth strategic games, this is probably not going to be one for you. It's got a more simplistic nature, and it's basically you're going to be moving around the board and collecting cards and playing them. But overall, it's fun. We had a great time playing this game, and I definitely played with my little cousins, and they, they loved this game. They thought it was a lot of fun. Much like the other two games, uh, like Battle Goats and Take the Gold, those are both very simplistic in nature, has enough little strategy to get people interested in the game, as well as giving it... Um, an, uh, enough of an easy learning curve for younger children. So overall, a very nice game, really well done, very vibrant and beautiful. I love the art, love the style. So definitely one that you have to take a look at. It's going to be either a yes or no for people. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people in the middle with this one. But if you're a big family gamer and you got kids, I would definitely suggest the Pirate's Flag. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help, and we do greatly appreciate it, as well as checking out the Pirate's Flag on Kickstarter. It'll be in the description below. And if you want, you can check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We've got tons of blog posts, Kickstarter lists, and our giveaways, which there's tons of them down there. You can go ahead and try and enter. And if you do, we'll send you a game for free with the shipping included, as well as checking out our friends, everythingboardgames.com, the Giveaway Geek, and Ferdinand, the card board stack where he does a bunch of tutorials and they do giveaways and blog posts as well all right guys that's all i got for this one and as always i look forward to seeing you guys next time